So I know I'm going to get a lot of heat about this video, but honestly, I really don't care. It honestly needs to be addressed so badly. The hype needs to go down. Like, come on, people. Like, stop being drones. Stop being, you know, you know, cash cows. Look, die down the hype and be real about this. Call of Duty World War II, this reveal event, this reveal trailer, was nothing more than smokescreen marketing. Okay, smoke screen marketing. That's all it was. I mean, honestly, we didn't get nothing from this trailer. Nothing whatsoever. And it's even bad. It's even bad. I mean, it's so bad watching this reveal that they had the audacity to say that they tried to make this historically accurate. I mean, come on. They had the balls to put. They try to make this game as historically accurate as possible. Okay. If they want it to be historically accurate, you know, the one thing they should include is more race diversity. Come on. Let's be real. Call of Duty has been nothing but white supremacist America, basically. Because you see no diversity in Call of Duty. No diversity whatsoever. It's just pretty much just white people, white men. You know, everybody's just put in the back burner. You know, African-American women, everybody's put back burner. White America. You know, that's what Call of Duty basically is. So for them to say historically accurate, they have balls. Because honestly, they are not historically accurate. Because if they really were, they would actually showcase that. No, it wasn't just white men in World War II. There were women you know, supporting Dashi troops that were African Americans. You know, there was a lot of things going on in World War II, not just white men. You know, so they, like, seriously, people, like, don't buy into this hype. World War II, you know, it, it looks like it's going to be better than actually Infinite Warfare. I really hope it does. But come on, like, people need to really open their eyes and just stop it already. Stop with this drone mind washing crap that. Activision is feeding their fan base because it's just embarrassing right now. Like, it's really embarrassing. Another thing, like, that I really have to address right now is the core flaws of Call of Duty are most likely still going to be in World War II. The core flaws, and I see it. I see it in the trailer. You know, if the trailer shows anything, is that the core flaws are still going to be there. Now, let's really bring it. Let's really be honest here, people. YouTube fans, fans in general, let's really be honest. The futuristic setting was not the main issue with Call of Duty. The main issue of the franchise runs deeper than the futuristic setting. It runs deeper than that. It really does. We're talking about poor, poor, horrible DLCs. Just horrible. Horrible season passes, you know, horrible game mechanics, you know, it, it runs the core flaws of Call of Duty that have been in there since Modern Warfare, since Call of Duty 4, are still apparent in other Call of Duty games. And most likely they're still going to be apparent because people are not fighting the developers. They're not fighting Activision. They're not fighting you know, Infinity War, Treyarch, Sledgehammer, they keep on buying, 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 buying Call of Duty games. And honestly, people, really, why are you going to bitch and complain on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, whatever, about disliking Call of Duty games and still going to buy them? You know, it's just being a textbook hypocrite, basically. Like, okay, the flaws are still there. One of the things I want to say is the major flaw is the advertising of the DLCs, okay? This whole thing of playing favorites, I mean, it should have it never existed. I'm talking about before when they said, before when Microsoft had, had an actual contract with actually Activision that DLCs would come to their console first and then Sony and then PC players will get them later. That should have never existed. You're basically telling your your customers, your fans, that they chose the wrong console. They chose the crappy console. You know, people who like PlayStation, they were basically playing, 
they're basically saying, oh, because you have a PlayStation, you're, you're garbage, you are crap, you're, you're going to get the extra content 30 days later. And the same thing with PC. And now that Sony has a contract, it's just the same thing. That should have never existed in, in the first place. You know, you are dividing the community. Another fundamental flaw in the Call of Duty franchise is the fact that their DLCs and season passes were never good in the, were never good in the first place, and they're getting worse and worse because of supply drops, because of um, you know scavenging and stuff like that, building guns, building guns and so forth. What's the point of DLCs anyway? You know. These fundamental flaws are still there, and let's not talk about the actual mechanics of the game. I mean, we're talking about, you know, the actual flaws in the game where you're basically shooting left, and the and the guy is on right, and you and you still got him. You know, the game is just completely broken, and Sledgehammer is no different than any other studios. They are just trying to smokescreen the hell out of us to make the game sell because the per because the number one reason was fear they were afraid because of the complete backlash of infinite warfare you know and now they were like whoa we gotta go oh no no no, no. we're gonna get the fans back by saying no we're going back to its roots really no you're not going back to call of call call of duty's roots you were afraid that your plans were going to fail and you just basically did a 360 and was like, well, no, we're not going to do futuristic anymore. We are going back to its roots. When, re when in reality, you're not going back to the roots. You're just pretty much trying to cash in because your time was up. Your your game was 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 actually coming and you don't want to be a loser, basically. It's that simple. You want to make money. You don't care about the fans. You don't care about the customers. You just want to make money. And what way to do it was, hey, look how bad Infinite Warfare did. Look how bad, you know, the future setting is. Let's not do that anymore. And yes, in a, in a sense, they were, you know, thinking about the fans because the fan base did have enough of, of this future setting. But honestly, there's so many things wrong with this reveal trailer that I don't even know where to begin or actually end. I've just been rambling because there's so much wrong with it. I mean, you have the whitewashing again. You have the brainwashing. You have the smoke screen. You have the basically, you said nothing about the game. You were just praising on how you're going to bring Call of Duty back to its glory, back to its roots. That's all it really was. It was just a smoke screen advertisement. And it's really sad. It's really sad because Call of Duty used to be a great game. I mean, I remember Modern Warfare and World at War and even the original Call of Duty's 1, 2, and 3, you know, way before this, I don't even know where did Activision go wrong. It's probably with Modern Warfare where they started getting this greediness. But um, yeah, it was just so bad. It's gotten so bad, guys. And honestly, we as a community, as Call of Duty fans itself, really need to, I mean, probably not the YouTube channels because that's how they make their bread and butter, basically, making Call of Duty videos, you know, so obviously they're not really going to talk bad about the game that's feeding them, basically, so, um, you know, but, you know, for the average people, we really need to say enough is enough, like, stop treating us like mindless drones, even though majority of the community would even continue to be mindless drones and still buy this piece of crap game. But you know, I I honestly really hope that such hammer learned their lesson. And I'm actually hoping, I'm praying, you know, because there were some good things I saw about the trailer. So have an awesome day.